Welcome to the Fallout Complete Story. We're here to help you understand the various elements of Fallout lore and get you caught up. And we'd like to know in the comments down below, what is the most confusing to you? Now today, we're going to explain the Fallout brand sodas, namely Nuka-Cola and Sunset Susprilla. Sunset supposedly came out 126 years before Nuka-Cola, supposedly. And as the story goes, a saloon owner wanted to make his patrons a new drink, so he asked them what they would like. One of the patrons said he would give his family a secret recipe, and the drink was born. It supposedly tasted like root beer. Now, Nuka-Cola is the one that everyone knows about, and it was invented around 2044. It was noted to have a very unique taste and a dazzling blue color. Its contents are normal soda elements, but it has a mixture of 17 fruits to give it its unique flavor. It is also noted to contain vitamin minerals and various health tonics. As of the year 2067, at the height of the resource war, vending machines containing Nuka-Cola could be found on nearly every street of America. And after the war, bottles of Nuka-Cola survived and the drink was considered a luxury. The bottle caps also became a form of currency as they were plentiful thanks to Nuka-Cola being all over. Now, Nuka-Cola comes in a variety of styles. In all of the games, you can find the basic Nuka-Cola. This type is normally flat, warm, and irradiated. It might be fun to drink, but it's not recommended. In Fallout 3 and New Vegas, you can find ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Not much different, it'll quench your thirst better. Nuka-Cola Quentin was in Fallout 3, New Vegas, and seems to be in Fallout 4. In 2077, right as the war was about to begin, Nuka-Cola Quentin was introduced. The claim was that it contained twice the calories, twice the carbs, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. To make it stand out on the shelves and glow a little, they added a mild radioactive isotope. While the Food and Drink Administration never reported ill effects, the drink did cause the drinker's urine to glow. In Fallout 3, we got mentions of a new product they were working on that only contained a small amount of death. It was supposed to become Nuka-Cola Clear, but it never made it to production before the Great War started. Nuka-Cola Quartz is in New Vegas and was very similar to Nuka-Cola Quantum. But instead of making your urine glow, it gave you low-light vision. Nuka-Cola Victory was also in New Vegas, and it was colored orange. Cherry Nuka-Cola popped up in Fallout Tactics and is a variation on the original formula. At its original release, no one liked its taste and it was a marketing disaster for the company. So they brought back the old flavor and called it Classic Nuka-Cola. Same old Nuka-Cola in a new bottle. Yellow Nuka-Cola was also in Fallout Tactics and is yellow in color and has an odd odor. But it was discovered by the Brotherhood of Steel that this yellow Nuka-Cola was actually a madman peeing in the bottles and trying to convince people to drink it. Fusion Cola is something that filled the Nuka-Cola dude made in Fallout Tactics. It was a mix of all the Nuka-Colas into one drink. And that is all of your flavors of Nuka-Cola pre-Fallout 4. Let us know what perplexed you about Fallout in the comments down below and make sure you follow us on Twitter at EligibleMonster. I'm Zod and I'll see you guys next time right here.